Hello, my name is Shanti with Shanti La Yoga for Calistoga Fet. This is going to be a, um, a sequence for perhaps a beginner yogi or more intermediate. So if you're looking to be more challenged or you're finding a level that is a little bit more physical and more challenging, this would be just right for you. Um, working a lot with legs and opening up hips, thighs, and hamstrings, especially ideal for the athlete, the uh, individual who is seeking um, to add yoga benefits to their gym circuit routine. So begin by taking a comfortable seat, either cross-legged or your legs folded underneath you, and go ahead and close your eyes. We'll begin by attuning to the breath, taking our attention to the breath. The breath is the most essential element of the yoga practice. I will be guiding you through the practice with the breath. We inhale through the nose, allow the breath to enter in the body and fill the body fully. And as we exhale, we press the breath back out through the nose, inhaling, and exhaling, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling, so a few more rounds this way to your own timing. Release your fingertips to the floor beside you. Inhale, allow the palms to face up, arms up overhead. And exhaling, arms down by your sides. So integrating breath to movement. Inhale, arms float up. And exhaling, arms by your sides. Inhale, arms float up. Now gently float the eyes open, take your gaze in between your palms, and exhale, release the right hand to the floor, reach up through the left and crescent over, opening up the side body. Inhale through center and to the other side, reaching up and over, breathing here. Inhale through center, allow the palms to touch, exhaling in front of the heart, and walk your hands out in front of you. As far as you can, keeping your hips to the floor, release your head in between your arms. Breathing here. Look forward in between your hands, walk your hands all the way over towards the left. Lift your belly up and over and lengthen both fingertips evenly and then release the head towards the floor. Breathing here. Inhale, look forward, walk your hands all the way over to the other side. Push into the floor, lift the belly up and over, and release the head in between your arms. So this is opening up the spine, the side body, and also the hips. Breathing here. Inhale through center, one full breath here. Exhale, release the head and the palms. Anchor down through the tailbone. Curl through the spine. Take your fingertips back behind you. Elbows hug in, push into the floor and extend the chest up. Lean your head back, breathing here. Release the palms to the floor, lean back. Reverse the crossings of the legs, getting into the opposite hip. Walk your hands all the way forward, releasing your head in between your arms towards the floor. Inhale, look forward in between your hands. Walk your hands all the way over towards the right. Lift the belly up and over that thigh. Walk your fingertips evenly forward and release the head. Breathing here. Inhale, come through center, 
And as you exhale all the way to the other side, lift the belly up and over, lengthen evenly through your fingertips, and release the head towards the earth. Breathe in here. Inhale, walk all the way through center. Release the head towards the floor. Release your palms, anchor through the tailbone, curl through the spine. Take your arms back behind you, fingertips pointing away, hug the elbows in, and open up the chest, leaning the head back, straightening the arms. Breathing here. And exhale, release. Come to hands and knees, tabletop. Spread your fingertips wide like starfish. Toes are tucked under. Three cat and cows, inhale, arching through the spine. Exhale and round. Inhale, arch. Exhale and round. Once more, inhaling. And exhale. Walk your knees back, lift your knees and press back down with facing dog. Bend one knee and then the opposite, coming side to side, opening up the backs of the legs, breathing here. Lower the heels evenly. Inhale, look forward in between the hands. Lift your heels high to the sky and bend your knees deeply. Draw your seat up towards the sky, tilting the pelvis. As you exhale, press your thighs back behind you. Lower the heels towards the floor. Release the head in between the arms and draw your belly button in. Breathing here. Inhale forward. Plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Bend your knee. Open up the knee towards the right and stack the hips keeping your shoulders square. Breathing here. Straighten your leg long back behind you. Point your toes towards the floor. Lift your left heel and exhale, lengthen that left heel towards the floor. Keep lifting the right thigh up and back. Exhale, release. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Bend that knee and that out towards the left, then point straight towards the sky, stacking the hips. Shoulders are square, straighten the leg long back behind you. Exhale, point the toes towards the floor. Keep pushing into the floor with your hands as you lift that right heel high. Exhale, lengthen the right heel towards the floor and keep lifting the left thigh high. Exhale and release. Inhale, forward plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees, press the back, extended child's pose. Lift the palms, release the head to the floor. Inhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high to the sky. Step it forward to the outside of your right wrist. Come to your fingertips, give yourself a bit more space. Stretch through the back heel and out through the front knee. Keep looking forward, breathing here. Exhale, release that back knee to the floor and take your hips back, lifting your front toes and bow deeply to the inside of that front knee. Breathing here. Inhale, come forward, lift the back knee, low lunge, wide-legged low lunge. Exhale, release the knee. Exhale, take your hips back, lift your toes, and bow. Inhale, come forward, extend through the back knee, wide-legged low lunge. Exhale, release the back knee, straighten the front leg, lift your toes, and bow. Inhale, come forward, extend through the back knee, step it back, downward facing dog. Left leg lift high to the sky, step it to the outside of the left wrist. 
Come to the fingertips for a little bit more space through the front body. Stretch evenly through the legs, lengthening the heart forward. Exhale, release the back knee. Take your hips back. Lift your toes and release the head to the inside of that front leg. Inhale, come forward, lift the back thigh, find extension. Exhale, release the back knee, hips back and back. Inhale, come forward, lift the back thigh. Exhale, release and back. Inhale, come forward, release the palm, step it back, downward facing dog. Come forward, plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, all the way to the floor. Untuck the toes, hug the elbows in. Press firmly through the legs and rise, Cobra. Keep hugging the elbows in. Breathing here. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes. Press up, plank pose. Downward facing dog. Look forward in between your hands. Walk your hands, feet forward towards your hands. Standing forward, bend, Uttanasana. Lengthen the heart forward. Exhale and bow. Take your hands to the hips, elbows high to the sky. Torso is parallel to the floor. Push through the feet, rise to stand. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Exhale, bend your knees deeply, Utkatasana, chair pose. So the tops of the thighs move back. You sit low, you see your toes, your arms are alongside the ears, and now draw your belly button in, breathing here. Exhale, dive over the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, and bow in. Step your left leg back, low lunge. Now the hips are a little bit closer together. Full body breathing. Exhale, release the back knee. Reach your arms forward and up. Anjaneyasana. Keep pushing down through the leg, lifting the belly in and up and curl back. Exhale, release your hands forward to frame the front foot. Take your hips back, lift your toes, and bow to the inside of that front knee. Inhale, come forward, rise on Janayasana. Exhale, frame the front foot, straighten that front leg and bow. Once more, inhale. And exhale, all the way back. Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, come forward, extend through that back leg. Place your palms, down dog split, right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, open up that hip. Now lift the left heel, come to the ball of that foot, and as you exhale that heel towards the floor, straighten the right leg. Point the toes. Release that foot. Left leg lifts high to the sky. Look forward. Step it in between your hands. Low lunge. Breathing here. Full breath in. As you exhale, release that back knee. Inhale, arms up alongside the ears. Pushing into the floor, curling back. And exhale, framing the front foot. Take your hips back, straighten that front leg, lifting the toes. And bowing to the inside of that front knee. Inhale, come forward. Arms alongside the ears. Exhale. Hips back, straighten that front leg and back. Inhale. And exhaling. Extend through that back knee. Place your palms down dog split. Left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee. Open up that hip. Lift up high on the ball of the right foot. 
Lengthen the right heel, straighten that left leg, point your toes towards the floor and release. Come forward through your vinyasa. Plank pose. Exhaling, chaturanga, cobra or up dog if you're ready. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward in between your hands, hop or step, Uttanasana. Lengthen the heart forward, exhale and balance. Inhale, arms up overhead, palms to touch, and then exhale your hands by your side. Interlace your hands back behind you, elbows wide. Palms pressing together, draw the shoulders up and back. Push down through the legs. And as you lean your ears back, as you lean your ears back, lift your chin, extend the palms towards the floor, opening the chest. Breathing here. Keep drawing the belly button in, leaning back, opening it up. Exhale, release your arms alongside the grip. Up overhead, and exhale your hands down by your side. Come to the top of the mat. Take your hands to the hips and shift your weight towards the left foot so much. You come to the right tippy toes. Cross the right ankle over left knee. And take a deep seat so the tops of the thighs move back and apart. A balancing pose with a hip opener. Go low. Now draw the belly button in. Breathing here. Level one, work your elbows towards one another. Hands at hips for balance. Level two, hands in front of heart. Breathing here, going a little lower. Inhale, release that right leg. Lean forward and extend, warrior three. Lengthening through the back of the neck, lift that back thigh higher. Bend through that front knee and release that back leg. And rise. Breathing here. Keep extending through that back heel, bending deeply through that front knee. And exhale, take your fingertips forward, frame the front foot, and straighten that front leg. The back heel is lifted as you bow. Bend deeply through that front knee. Step it back. Down dog. Come forward, plank pose. Come through your vinyasa. Chaturanga Dandasana, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward in between your hands. Hop or step, Uttanasana. Lengthening the heart forward. Exhale and bow. Hands by your hips, torso parallel to the floor, elbows hugging in, anchor down through the legs and rise. Stand. Shift your weight to the right foot, coming to the left tippy toes. Cross your left ankle over right knee. So the active toes, that ankle to knee is pressing so firmly in towards one another. It's like a, a vacuum seal. Then bend deeply through that standing leg. Your hip creases are moving back. Your seat is moving back. So your heart must come forward for balance. Breathing here. Now draw your belly button in, elbows hugging. Go a little bit deeper. Level one, stay here. Level two, take hands in front of heart. Press the palms together, elbows wide. Breathing here. Push down through that standing leg, release. And extend all the way back. Warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Lengthen through the back of the neck, draw the navel in. Lift the back thigh a little higher, toes pointing straight to the floor. Exhale, bend deeply through the standing leg and rise. High lunge. Bending deeply through that front 
knee and keep extending through that back leg. Curling back. Full breath in. As you exhale, reach your fingertips forward to frame the front foot and straighten that front leg, lifting the hips and bow. Back heel is lifted. Bend deeply through that front knee. Place your palm. Downward facing dog. Come through your vinyasa of choice. If you need to take a child's pose at any time, feel free to take that option. Down dog. Bring your knees to the floor. Take your knees wide as the mat, untuck the toes, and press back. Wide knee, child's pose, palms to touch, bend your elbows, taking the palms to the back of the heart. And exhale, release the palms, look forward in between your hands, and come rest on your belly. Take your arms out for Sphinx Pose. Take your right hand in, 45 degrees. If you need more balance, support, come in 90 degrees. Bend, left leg, grab hold of it. Kick the foot back into your hand, and then hug it to the outer edge of that hip. Keep anchoring the knee down, drawing the belly button in, lifting the belly button towards the heart. Breathing here. I'm going to take more of an advanced option, a back bend, straighten that front arm. Then exhale, release. Release that back leg and switch sides. Left arm comes in 45 degrees. Bend that. Right leg, grab hold of it. First you begin by looking at the back foot. Kick the foot back into your hand, hug it to the outer edge of that hip, and anchor the top of the knee down as you carve your pubic bone forward. Take your gaze forward, breathing here. Again, option to add a back bend. It's more of a level two, three. Straighten that front arm. Breathing here. And exhale, release. Releasing that back. And rest. Elbows wide, forehead to your palms. And rock side to side. Through your hips and the legs. And come through steady. Take your hands by the chest for cobra, elbows pointing straight high, forehead resting to the floor, back of the neck is long. Tuck your left toes under, lift the knee, and shimmy your legs back. Untuck the left toe, right side. Tuck, lift the knee, shimmy the leg further back. Firmly pressing your legs into the floor, lengthen your tailbone towards your heel. Hug the elbows in, draw the shoulders up and back. Breathe. Now draw the belly button in like an ocean wave propelling you up into your cobra. Keep hugging in, keep anchoring, and then exhale and soften. Breathing here. One more breath, inhaling, and exhale, release. Press back. Child's pose with your knees together, forehead to the floor, and wrap your arms around towards your heels, allowing the back of the body, the spine, to experience the opposite curvature. Breathing here. Inhale, curl through the spine. Take your hands back behind you. 
Take your knees apart. Draw the shoulders back, lean your head back. Level one, stay here. Level two, lift your hips. And open the front of the body. Breathe in here. And exhale, release. Take your hands to your thighs and come lie on your backs. Feeling the floor. Press your right ankle over left knee. Grab the back of your left thigh, interlacing your hands, active toes. Hug your thigh in and press your thigh back out. If you're really open through the hips, you can take the option of grabbing hold of the outer shin as long as your shoulders and your head stay connected to the floor. Breathing here, active toes. Exhale, release, and switch sides. Hug the thigh in, press the thigh back out. Go ahead and grab hold of the outer shin, even if your head needs to lift in order to grab hold, but ensure that you can draw the head and the shoulders back to the floor, keeping the pelvis anchored. Breathing here. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And exhale and release. Interlace your hands back behind your left thigh. Your leg is at a 90 degree angle. Press the thigh into your palms and then hug the thigh towards you as you anchor the pelvis down. This is love. Like opening level, then extend the leg high to the sky. Toes are flexed towards the knee. Breathing here, opening up the back of your leg. More advances, extend the right leg long. Keep your hips square, re-engage the palms into the thigh and the thigh back into the palm and then lift up through that knee Anchor the pelvis down, breathing here, shoulders back. Release your hands by your hips, palms to the floor, and extend that leg long. Inhale, bend the knee. Interlace your hands behind the right thigh. Your right leg is at, uh, bent at a 90 degree angle, active toes. Press the thigh into your palm and then hug the palm into your thigh. Anchor your pelvis into the floor. Extend that leg if available. Breathing here. So opposing actions, really hugging the thigh in and pressing the thigh back out.